Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we will see a, a 5 kW on grid uh, residential solar rooftop system. So, this 5.4 kW system, I have been using it for quite a few months now. So, I thought it would be appropriate to make a video right now. And here is the solar panels and uh, over here you can see that we have like 10 panels from the manufacturer Wari so these, this Wari uh, brand is like one of the uh, top con manufacturers in India uh, for the solar panels and uh, this here is the data sheet of the panel as you can see this here is a 540 watt peak that is the peak power of it is 540 watts and uh, total running current of it is the peak current of it is like 13 amps we have connected all these panels in series and we have taken it as a single string to the MPPT of the inverter so over here you can see the structure this is actually a square tube structure so this is quite uh, rigid for holding this uh, uh, solar panels together and since this is made up of GI, you know, like it is corrosion resistant, uh, capable of withstanding this kinds of uh, monsoon rains, the winter colds and so on. Let me quickly show you the top side of the panel. So this here is the panel side. And uh, these panels are actually monocrystalline perk with half cut. So as you, you can, as these panels are monocrystalline, you know, uh, they have like a, a higher efficiency when compared to the polycrystalline. And indeed, yes, they give a very good results, and their generation also is also quite surprising, you know, in the uh, complete daylight, I would say. So I would be glad to share you the details in my further video on the generation part and so on the inverters and so okay so as i said we have connected these parallel panels in series and taken this output as a single string to the mppt of the inverter let us have a further look at the inverter side to see more details on this this here is the inverter side uh, here we have three co components, the DC distribution box, the inverter and the AC distribution side. So this here is a polycap inverter. This here, this is a 5 kilowatt three phase inverter. So uh, this inverter supports actually 15 amps of uh, series current from the solar panels. Since our panels are 540 watts, you know, like uh, 13 ampere of rating, it is recommended to go with the 15 amps inverter so that we extract the maximum power out of it. And as I said, this here is a dual MPPT inverter, and we have used the single MPPT, you know. So uh, the MPPT actually uh, pulls the maximum power, it tracks for the maximum power point at which the solar panels are able to produce power, and it pulls the maximum power out of these solar panels. So what, so how the system works is like the DC which is produced comes through this pipe and uh, through these cables and enters into the DC distribution box. Here we have an MCB over here, also a surge protection device, you know in case of any kind of excess uh, voltages or surges or something like that, this will be grounded through the uh, earthing system. We have a separate earthing for the DC side. From the uh, DC DB, the power goes into the inverter. This inverter, as you can see here, it is generating like almost uh, 250 to 300 watts of power. So the generation is almost done for the day. You know, the time is like uh, 5.15 in the evening. The climate is like, uh, the weather is like not so, you know, not so great or not so sunny or not so cloudy. It is like a moderate weather today but still we managed to generate like almost 19.74 units which you see here is the E today 
the e total is like the total energy which has been generated drilled from the day of the inverter installation you can see the three phase voltages and the three phase currents the frequency and other parameters that are being displayed the inverter is in sync with the grid and the power is being exported so from that uh, inverter the power goes to the AC distribution side in the ACDB you have an SPD again in case of any excess surges from the AC side which is coming from the mains the main line fluctuations and so on the surge fluctuations that will be pulled to the ground pulled to the earth we have a separate earthing for the AC side also also here we have the main uh, MCB that is the main uh, the isolator to isolate the inverter from the AC side and this MCB is used for isolating the solar panels from the inverter so um, from this AC side the power goes again to the DB in the DB we have a bi-directional meter this here is a bi-directional solar meter I have discussed about this in detail in a separate video so this bi-directional meter is capable of recording both the import and export energy and uh, thereby the on-grid system in an on-grid system the only the difference of the power that is the import minus the export the units of the net units along with the network network charges that will be payable by the consumer mm -hmm. So this briefs the overall of the solar uh, on-grid uh, system, the connections. Apart from this, there is a lightning arrester system, lightning arrester and an earthing for it, as well as we have different earthing for the AC side and the DC side, which is outside. So, um, and uh, with this, uh, in case if you if you would like to discuss anything further or you if you would like to clarify any more details of the solar on grid system I have been using this for quite a time now quite a few months so uh, you can please uh, leave a comment of the comments in the comment section so uh, I'll be glad to answer it and uh, maybe make a video of it in case of uh, any specific queries also if possible you know Once again, I thank you all for watching this video and have a good day.